to the west And it's calling me back again There's a pale blue sky and a north sunset And a place I can't forget You go down home when the sun goes low Head off the highway to a painted western sky Walk down a worn path through the back door Cooking in the kitchen and the kettle is warm Then you sit down Home Welcome to Great Chefs of the West A video symposium of regional cookery offered by Chefs of the West and Southwest From Dallas, Texas An appetizer by Chef Stephen Piles From San Diego An entree by Chef Ralph Young From San Francisco Dessert by Chef Rick O'Connell and home-based cooking from the Onion Creek Lodge in Buda, Texas. The sophisticated milieu of Ruth Street Cafe in Dallas is a far piece from the truck stop where chef owner Stephen Piles got his start in the restaurant business. He grew up in Big Spring, a watering hole in the dusty western part of Texas, and by age eight was bussing tables at his parents' cafe where waitresses wore beehives and country music played on the jukebox. The first course by this acclaimed homegrown chef teams two jewels of the South, catfish mousse with crawfish sauce. The chef begins by preparing the sauce, his version of the classic French sauce Nantua, utilizing cooked crawfish. The tails are reserved for garnish and the rest will be processed to form the base of the sauce. The processed shells will be cooked with aromatics. To the same skillet the crayfish were cooked in, we're going to add chopped, one chopped leek, a couple of sprigs of fresh thyme, crushed clove of garlic, one medium carrot, one stalk of celery, and about three tablespoons of chopped parsley. Then we're going to add the crushed crayfish body and tail meat, or tail shells. Then we're going to deglaze the pan with about six tablespoons of bourbon. If it flames up, that's all right. Let that cook down. Then we're going to add about a cup of white wine, dry white wine. Then we're going to whisk in about a tablespoon and a half of tomato paste. Get that good and dissolved. We're going to let that reduce by half, which takes about two or three minutes. When that's reduced, it should look like this. We're going to add heavy cream, about a cup and a half. Let this simmer seven to ten minutes until thickened. The mixture is then forced through a fine mesh sieve. The finished sauce is seasoned with salt and coarsely ground pepper and reserved while the catfish mousse is prepared. Here we have eight ounces of fresh catfish fillets that have been chopped to about this size. We're going to put those in the processor and blend it until it's smooth. It takes about a minute. Okay, then we're going to take the catfish from the processor and run it through a strainer. Note the chef's use of both a food processor and a food mill. Here's why. To get rid of the, the sinuous, sinewy uh, pieces in the fish. Okay, then in a separate bowl, we're going to add 
one whole egg, one egg yolk, one cup of, or excuse me, half a cup of heavy cream, and a quarter of a cup of milk. Just whisk that lightly. Then we're going to whisk our catfish into that. You notice that's sort of a liquidy texture. This is more like a custard, actually, than a mousse. And we're just going to season it with um, a little bit of cayenne. And some salt. Then we're going to pour that into buttered ramekins. These are about a third cup mold. Fill it about three quarters full. Okay, the ramekins are going to go in a pie pan or anything that they will fit in so that you can fill water. Got water here boiling. Going to add just enough to have it come halfway up the sides. Okay, this is a piece of parchment paper, but you can use wax paper as well. We're going to cover that and then take a piece of foil and cover that completely so no air escapes. And this is going to go into a 325 degree oven. And bake for 15 to 20 minutes until the mousse is just firm to the touch. Take a little bit of the hot crayfish sauce. the plate around the mousse. And garnish it with some tail meat on the top. And one of the crayfish that you've served for the garnish. There's a road headed to the west, and it's calling me back again. There's a pale blue sky and a north sunset, and a place I can't forget. You go down home when the sun goes low. Head off the highway to a painted western sky. Walk down a worn path through the back door. Cooking in the kitchen and the kettle is warm. Then you sit down. 